So today, I'm gonna break down our cost of living in Da Nang, Vietnam. Me and my wife, Christina, we've been here for over a year. So I wanna show you exactly how much we spend on a monthly basis living the life we live. And if you're curious, how we live check out my last video which is a day in the life and the video before that so you'll have two day in the life videos um, and also at the end of the video I'll point you um, to another playlist where you can watch um, everything we do here in Da Nang so if you're you know a little plug here before we get started if you're interested in Da Nang Vietnam and traveling and um, being a digital nomad uh, if any of that interests you subscribe to this channel because this is all about helping you create a life you love. But before we get started, I have a disclaimer. This is our cost of living, all right? There are people living on a lot less and there are people living on a lot more. So first, accommodation. So we pay $450 a month here for our rent. Um, that, the apartment is fully furnished. Uh, you can well, except for those paintings um, we actually embellished it a little bit we bought some flowers and paintings so those we added but it's fully furnished um, it comes with high-speed internet it comes with cleaning twice a week and the water is included we don't have to pay for water here and next we have utilities so utilities cost us $40 per month on average um, so that's mostly electricity um, we have two ACs so we don't use them both at the same time often unless we're both working I'm in the room and Christina's in the living room and we both it's summer and so it's hot and we need to use it a little more then the bill would will be so but on average it averages about $40 now summers here can get very hot so I expect that to probably be around $50 going forward maybe 55 but on average our electricity bill is $40 per month now a month or two ago I did a video grocery shopping here in Da Nang um, but now I'm gonna talk about the food the f how much we spend on food here um, but it has think so if you've watched that grocery shopping video um, you might wonder why the numbers are different that's because two months ago we were grocery shopping every week now we have actually decided to change our um, how we do things a little bit so we've decided to eat out 80% of the time so currently sorry I'm gonna use my phone a little bit here um, currently we're spending about $320 per month on eating out alright so eating out going to a restaurant and eating or the or ordering on grab so sometimes we order food on grab the app or Vietnam MM or now that VN those are three apps that we use when we need to order food out here and that costs us about three hundred and twenty dollars now groceries we do some groceries um, but that just includes coconuts we order co <laughs> like I, I we actually just got published in an article on Miami New Times um, and one of the things that he talks about there is the fact that we do actually go through 40 coconuts every week here um, so we order a lot of coconuts those get delivered to the apartment um, we go to the market we buy bananas and mangoes those are basically what we ordered purely to make smoothies in the morning so groceries are actually a very very small part of it and so groceries cost us eighty dollars eating out and deliver food delivery three hundred and twenty and groceries cost us about eighty dollars now so we've completely switched how we eat here in the last month all right and so the re other things that we might buy from the grocery store are if we need some lotion, if we need some more Western things like oatmeal, um, cereals, then we'll go to Mega Market, Vinmart, or Moon Milk, or any any other convenience stores. Basically, Vinmart is like you know the the CVS um, in in the U.S. So it's in every corner you can go there. We, there's TS Marts, T Marts. May, you know there are a lot full market there are a lot of convenience stores right around the corner everywhere you go here in Vietnam food costs us about four hundred dollars so if you're curious about how cheap you can actually eat here in Da Nang Vietnam I have a video I did recently you can check that out um, and if you want to check out the grocery shopping video and see 
what it looks like to go grocery shopping here and how much it costs, um, check this video out. Next, we have transportation. So transportation is about $65 um, for the month. Um, that includes uh, the sco scooter rental, that's $55 per month. Um, we rent a 50cc scooter here. Um, for gas, that's it's five dollars a month for gas, you know. So once a week, I pay maybe thirty thousand, which is just over a dollar, um, to fill up my tank. Um, so that's very cheap. Um, and then sometimes when we need to, we will get a grab car or a grab bike. So grab again, it's like Uber. So it's an app. You can order food and you can order your rides. You can have deliveries. Um, they have many things here. It's like Uber. Five dollars again, five dollars a month. We don't really use uh, the Grab anymore since we got our own bike, but sometimes if we need it, um, we'll still get one. So that's about five dollars. For entertainment, entertainment is a hundred and three dollars for the month. Now that includes massages, um, at least one massage a week for me. Um, Christina started um, getting massages weekly with me, but slowly fell out of it. Um, so I, I, I kept going, I love massages, but she goes maybe once a month and yesterday we both went actually and she said she might get back into it. But so four massages a month for me um, and I'm gonna say one massage for Christina, that adds up to about $60 for the month. And um, surfboard rentals, I go surfing about once a week now. Um, I'm probably gonna consider renting a board for the month. Um, that's gonna be like 40, 40, 45 dollars maybe. Um, so, but don't worry about that for now. But at the moment, I am renting surfboards uh, every time I go surfing, and it costs me a hundred thousand dong to rent a board for the whole day. All right, and that's just four dollars and maybe sixty cents. All right, so surfboard rental for the month is seventeen dollars all right now dance christina she loves to dance salsa um so sometimes she goes um she's trying to get me into it i'm doing my best um <laughs> but um sometimes she goes to the city and goes with some friends and they love to dance salsa and some bachata and when she does she pays on average about 17 dollars a month if she wants to take a class and if not it's a lot of times it's free you can just show up to the place and dance and just buy a drink so seventeen dollars is only when she decides to take a class so basketball just a month ago i started playing basketball here that's about nine dollars um so that's two hundred thousand dong vietnamese dong for the month all right, so you can go as much as you want. That we usually play Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I've been going about once or twice a week. So yeah, basketball nine dollars per month. Now, let's move on to cell phone data. It costs eleven dollars um, for both of us. Again, this is for both of us. So let's say six, no, five fifty per person for five gigs of data on your phone, all right? So I get five, and you, you find Wi-Fi everywhere you go. Um, there's barely anywhere you'll go that they don't have Wi-Fi available, and I mean high-speed Wi-Fi. Um, if I didn't mention it, the Wi-Fi that we have in our apartment can go up to 90, um, on average actually, it's 90 megabytes, uh, 90 upload, 90 downloads. Uh, I forgot the, the metrics here, <laughs> but it's high speed. When I say high speed, it's high speed. I've never had that level of um, data here or speed here in my life. So, um, so like I said, $11 for both of our SIM cards for the month. And next, gym memberships. Um, membership. Christina goes to the gym every morning. I, I currently um, am not a gym person. I love sports. I, I don't know if you think you can convince me or you know make me go to the gym and work out and lift weights and enjoy the process. I'm all for it. Um, but right now I love more, you know, sports. I love the competition. The yeah. So that will cost about fifteen dollars a month. 
So Christina pays $15 every month for her gym membership. Now, um, those are gonna be some miscellaneous items. Um, miscellaneous items in total add up to about $162. Now, let me tell you exactly what they are. So those are items that are not necessarily, they don't have to be included in our monthly cost here, but you also probably want to know about them and stay tuned because you will learn probably a few things here um, and I'm also gonna get into the visas um, so the first one is digital mailbox what that is is because we come from we were living in Miami um, and moving here we needed something um, we needed an, an address that's ours not our parents address or our family members address we needed our address um, but we couldn't be here physically so you can pay a uh, location they will receive your mail they have an actual address it's not a PO box they receive the mail and they scan something for you if you want it to be scanned so it's on an app so you can go on your phone or on the computer so you just log in um, when they receive your mail they scan it for you um, or they show you the outside so if there's an envelope they will scan it for you if you want them to, to, to open it up and scan it you click scan if you want them to shred it because you can tell it's junk, junk mail just click um, discard or shred um, now this service costs about nine dollars and ninety nine cents right now for one address so if you're traveling this is the perfect service for you to receive your mail if you want them to ship so if you got a package you you want it you want them to ship it to your sister's house let's say um you can just create a shipment and have them ship anywhere in the world if i wanted to i can have them ship it here to vietnam so let's say you receive uh i don't know something important that you really need um you receive a camera equipment and you want it shipped to Vietnam, you can actually just create a shipment from there. So basically this is our home address while we're traveling. So if you're a digital nomad, um, check the link below. I'm gonna link um, the service down below. I really highly recommend it. So check it out and you can get an account for $10 a month, all right? So, and the next one is actually very important, but so many people don't know um, how to go about doing this one. Um, but it's travel slash health insurance, all right? A lot of people wonder, hey, how, how are you covered here while traveling? I know so many people who are not covered medically um, because they think it's so expensive. Well, it is exp a, very expensive in a lot of places, but I found a great company which I completely stand behind, um, and I'm gonna put their link down below also, but we only pay $37 per person um, with this company and you can go to the hospital whatever happens to you go to the hospital you have a card so you have a membership card um, and they will reimburse you for anything um, and when I mean anything um, there is actually a fellow youtuber uh, Megan who actually is from Canada she was here during the situation here and she had to fly home to Canada and they fully reimbursed her the full cost of the, the flight all right so they will cover anything from you know baggage lost to you getting hurt and having to go to a hospital. So check out the link below if you're actually looking for health insurance while you're traveling. So the next one is a visa. Um, I know that's something that a lot of a lot of you guys have asked me about um, since I've been posting the Nang videos and travel videos. Um, many people have wondered what is the visa situation here. So I'm gonna have a full video coming on that topic soon. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna tell you what we did um, for, so before we came here, um, while we were still in Miami, we actually bought our visas directly from the Vietnamese embassy in the US. We contacted them directly. We went on their website, we ordered a visa, a one year visa, multiple entry visa. As Americans, we can get one year visas. If you're from anywhere else, you'll likely get three months. Don't take anything I say here as uh, as a guarantee of anything this is like asking me for 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 law advice those thing, things change all the time so this is what we did so we paid 210 dollars per person for a full year visa um, before we came here all right so we received the visa in the mail we did not have to ship our passports out anywhere so the visa cost us 420 dollars for 
for both of us combined, it was $420. Now, you may ask about visa runs. So since we have a one year visa ourselves, um, every three months we do have to leave at the moment. I'm making this video um, in June, no, today is May 28th, 2020. Um, things may change by the time you're watching this video, but at this moment, um, I can get a year visa and I have to leave every three months. So if you might want to know, okay, so visa runs our cost too. All right. So if you want to do that every three months, you can contact this lady called Lynn, um, Lynn visa. You can look for her L Y N N visa on Facebook. She has a lot of information. I, I completely trust her. That's who we use. Um, she does visa runs for about, don't quote me on this. I think anyway, it's gonna be under $30, so maybe $25 every three months um, if you need to do a visa run, all right? So if you divide $25 by two people, um, that's $50 every three months, so that adds up to $17 per month. We don't do that. Um, what we had been doing is we just take a trip to another country where we want to visit anyway, so I'm not gonna put that as a cost because that's our choice. So if you just strictly needed to just do a visa run, $17 a month, all right? Now, the last one, that's just me giving you, um, giving you something out of the goodness of my heart, um, is ATM fees. So a lot of people will spend about $25 a month here on ATM fees. We don't do that anymore because we use um, Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab does have bank accounts now and they're all online. Um, and one of the best, they're to me, one of the best travel debit cards that exists right now because they have zero fees, all right? So if you go to any ATM, you get charged, you will get charged, but the bank will reimburse you for all fees that you get um, charged because they're completely online, so they're able to save on their overhead and therefore one of the things they offer is zero fees. So if you're traveling, definitely get your Charles Schwab account. Actually, um, I will not, this is an affiliate link, I will put it down below, but I will not get any compensation for it. It's just um, a link for you to get referred by me. Um, and, but what you will get is if you can put a certain amount of money into your account, you will get uh, compensation. So let, I believe if you put $1,000 in your account, within 45 days of opening it, you will get $100 for free, just for signing up through that link. I get zero, all right? So just so you understand, I am not getting compensated for saying this to you, um, but they will reward you for creating an account with them um, by giving you 100 bucks or more. So if you have more money to put in, you'll get, you'll get more money. You can get up to 500, I think. Um, so look, do your research, but I'm gonna put it in the links below. Um, click on it if you want to open an account with them and um, that's basically it guys. Um, this is it. So in total our monthly expenses here in Da Nang, Vietnam currently are $1,220 for two people. All right. So when I say, <laughs> you know, um, we actually don't live frugally here. We go to the store. We don't really look at the price much. Um, we, we could easily live on seven, seven, eight hundred dollars here, but we don't. We live on twelve hundred, and for a lot of people, this is quite a bit. And I understand that because, I mean, our apartment is probably the highest out of most of our friends. Um, so I understand that we're not living on the low end. So that just gives you an opportunity to see what you could do if you really wanted to live on a low budget here. You can definitely make it happen. So um, Da Nang is waiting for you. Just hurry up and get here. So if you're single, remember this is $1,200 for two people. If you're single, keep the cost of our rent. If you wanted an apartment like ours, for example, that's the same price and just divide everything else by two. I believe that adds up to less than $900 for one person. All right. So for $1,000, you could live a pretty good life here and have fun, eat whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, you could live on as low as $500 or less and you could live as high as 5,000 or more. 
I don't know what you'd have to do to spend $5,000 here, actually. Uh, I'm gonna do that research, but I, I don't know if you could spend $5,000 here if you wanted to. Um, but that's just to show you, that's, that's our life, that's how we live. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss of words here, but this is how much we spend every month, guys. All right. So if you're curious what our day-to-day -day looks like here in Da Nang, Vietnam, check out this link. I'm going to take you to a playlist where you can check out some videos on what we do on a daily basis. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you guys. Please like this video so it can reach more people. Um, I know a lot of you guys were waiting for that information on the cost of living here because a lot of people are actually looking at those videos and wishing they were here right now. Um, so I just hope that inspires you a little more to show you that you don't have to break the bank to live the life we live here. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Talking about comments, Please let me know in the comments um, how much money do you think you could um, live on out here um, based on what you've seen. So let me know, subscribe so you can be notified when I release the next video next week. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, create a life worth living. <laughs>